Summer season is tick season. Stay tuned for some natural solutions. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where together we create healthy recipes in the kitchen. Today we're going to be making a natural tick and bug repellent. Ticks are extremely sensitive to smell, so strong scents help keep them away. And essential oils are so effective at keeping ticks away that most products that you find in the store include essential oils in them. And you never want to apply essential oil directly to your skin because it can cause irritation. And for tick repellent specifically, I'm going to use an oil base simply because it's going to last longer on your skin. So let's begin. In a small glass bottle, add in five drops of clove essential oil. And clove contains eugenol, which is a wonderful natural insecticide. You can actually use this around the house safely to keep the bugs at bay. So five drops. Next, we're going to add in five drops of geranium oil. And geranium oil, all on its own, is a really safe tick repellent for your dog. You just take one drop and put it on their collar or between their shoulder blades. You just don't want to use this homemade spray on your dogs, especially your cats, because they're really sensitive to essential oils. So five drops five drops of oregano oil. And oregano oil at a high enough dose actually kills ticks, and it also kills the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. So this is really powerful, and this is one you definitely don't want to put on your skin without first diluting it in an oil. The last essential oil I'm going to add is five drops of orange or lemon essential oil. And this pairs really well with our clove if you wanted to use it as an insecticide around your home. The last ingredient I'm going to add is one and a half tablespoons or about one ounce of almond, jojoba, or fractionated coconut oil. All of these oils will work really great in this repellent. And I just wanted to add one more thing. I didn't add this to our spray, but I was reading that you can actually make a bug repellent just out of pure vanilla extract. So you add the pure vanilla extract to water, about one to one, shake it up, and there you go. But you just wanna make sure you're using pure vanilla if you're going to go that route. Okay, so our spray should be just about ready. You just wanna mix up the oils. When you're ready to use your natural tick spray, you want to spray your shoes and your socks the most because ticks are often in the grass and what they do is they crawl up onto your shoes and socks and then head their way all the way up your body towards your ears, your neck, and your head. So other places to spray are the back side of your knees, your wrists, and the back of your neck and anywhere else you really feel comfortable spraying, you always just want to test a little bit of spray onto your skin just to make sure that it doesn't irritate your skin. And then also this spray should last you all summer long if you keep it in a cool dark place and you want to reapply it anytime you just can't smell the essential oils anymore. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, take care and I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Also, be sure to subscribe. Bye-bye.